Logic zero, example 13.3, another consistent set of multiple propositions. Okay, here we have a set of three propositions with three variables. So we have a setup that looks like this. And uh, remember that with three variables, we have eight rows. And if we go to the farthest variable to the right, we're just going to alternate with true false all the way down for all eight rows. And then we go one to the left and we do two trues and two falses, two trues, two falses. Okay. And then we do four trues and four falses. And we get the desired configuration of truth values. Let's put our vertical pipes all the way down here. And we're going to get underscores for that open parenthesis. And the values of A are going to be four and four, skipping conjunction, values of B, two, two trues and tr two falses, alternating. Conjunction is true when both left and right are true, false otherwise. And the closing parenthesis gets an underscore, and we're going to skip material consequence. Oops. And then C is going to be alternating true and false. We're looking under conjunction on the left and C on the right. True, true is true. True, false, that's false. If the antecedent is false, material consequence is true. False antecedent, 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 true. Okay. Then we're going to get underscores for the comma we're going to leave blank space for the negation copy over the values of a now negation is the last thing we're coming to in this second proposition so that's going to get capital letters flipping the values of a and then we're going to get underscores for the comma and in our last statement, C is the only thing in the statement. So that's going to get capital letters. So we look first interpretation. No, there's a false in there. So nothing there, nothing there. Uh, no, that's not a consistent interpretation. Not a consistent interpretation. Ah, but here in the fifth interpretation, we have true, true, true. So we're going to mark that with a percent sign saying, okay, we have something here. This is significant and it is affirmative. It is positive. Uh, this now just on this interpretation, if there's at least one interpretation that shows all of the statements to be true, then the set is consistent. So we know the set is consistent, but in the truth table procedure, we, we, you know, comprehensively go through all the interpretations to check. And lo and behold, in this seventh interpretation, we see, ah, there's another interpretation under which they are all true. Okay. And then the last interpretation, no. Okay. But we have two interpretations 
where they're all true. So the set is consistent. And we get a, an answer string of this. <laughs> <laughs> 